you guys. I just wanted to jump on here and say that I'm doing great. Say that I miss you all and just give you an update. I am one week and one day uh, post-op from my skin removal surgery. So I got my tummy tuck done, uh, which is just that extra skin on my stomach pulled down. I got a thigh lift done, which is just kind of, it, it, it involves doing some lipo around the hips for the tummy tuck and some lipo like around the thighs too, and then pulling up the inner thigh skin. And um, I did a breast lift as well. Just after all the weight loss, um, my boobies kind of deflated and it was making me feel probably the most insecure out of everything. And so I got a lift done as well as some implants to plump them back up again. <laughs> I am surprisingly in no pain. The rules for my tummy tuck was that I'm not allowed to stand straight for 10 days. So right now we are on day eight. Uh, I cannot wait for day 10. I have been sitting up a little bit more straight, just trying that for now and even laying in my bed. I keep my legs up so that my my you know hips are still a little bent and my back is a little bit up on some pillows but much more comfortable than the first three days. Originally was sleeping in this chair that I set up next to my bed with a couple ottomans so that way I could make sure that I was sitting upright because that is the rule for 10 days is no sleeping straight and no standing straight up. Three days in the chair and my tailbone was killing me. I actually wasn't in any pain from where the stitches are, like where any of the cuts are. The pain came from my tailbone and my back from just trying to sleep sitting up and being in that position so long. I think, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, by day four, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna try to lay in my bed without, you know, pulling any stitches and just see how it goes. So, you know, since being in my bed, things have been so much better. And so I've basically just been here and, you know, just got um, like my Tylenol, some snacks, my water, and I've just been watching TV. Now that I'm on day eight, I do feel comfortable getting up um, and sitting, like on a chair for a little bit, just to get a different position going. And then I will lay back down and it's just kind of back and forth like that all day long. The first three or four days consisted of also walking around every four hours. I would wake up and my roommate would help me walk around. So I'm just reenacting that by showing you kind of what that looks like bent over. And that would really hurt my back too, but I had to walk around the house and get the blood flow going for a few minutes just to prevent any blood clots. There wasn't a lot of pain, but there was a lot of fear because you are so scared, your body's cut up and it's like gross to kind of look at and it makes you a little bit nauseous and you just don't want to look at it. So you kind of need that help in the beginning to, to kind of guide you to the toilet or guide you um, to eat something. Like she even fed me in the beginning because I was just so scared to move anything. Um, I will tell you the first time I took a shower, I cried. Uh, it, my roommate was there. I even had another friend there to help and it was my first shower and I just I cried because I was so scared It was the first time I could see my full body. I could see all the cuts I have drainage tubes that come out from my hips so it's just a lot for your mind to kind of take in and um, That's what I would say is the biggest hurdle in the beginning is just being scared and that fear um, but have a friend there with you, you know, someone that you can trust, you're really close to, to take care of you and that's gonna help you through those days. Other than that though, pretty easy recovery. Um, I just get bored. I'm trying to take it easy. It's really hard for someone like me who is um, a lot more active now and I miss running and working out. So it's been really hard just laying in the bed and watching TV. But I thought today I was feeling well enough to sit up for a long enough amount of time to talk to you guys and give you these updates and just say hi, I've really missed you. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys I was doing this earlier. I wasn't sure if I was going to surprise you with it or, um, or make a special video for it. I just, I wanted to make it a really 
fun and exciting announcement and I just ran out of time with that trip that I took. I've never had a big surgery before. I've never been under anesthesia. So this was all a first for me. So I was really scared going into it and I just kept praying to God, like, let me make it through this. There's this whole life that I wanna live still, this, this new life I see for myself and all these goals that I wanna meet. When I woke up from you know the surgery and I was in the recovery room, I remember waking up and I saw the ceiling and I just bursted out with tears. And the lady nurse came over and was like, are you like okay are you in pain i was so happy to be alive and that i had made it and i was ready you know like i felt so motivated that i'm going to recover from this and i'm going to be so much stronger and fitter and confident and i just can't wait to keep going i'm getting emotional again about it but it was just a really cool moment i will definitely update you with more photos of my progress and just what my body's looking like and I'm gonna try to keep it you know very PG and not gross um, but yeah I haven't decided really how much to show or, or all that but I want to talk about all of it because I know a lot of you that watch my channel you're losing a lot of weight too and this might be something that you go through in the future so I want you to know all about how you know my experience was with um, these surgeries in case you want to do it too um, some things coming up now is a few days I'll be standing excited about that on day 10 that's when I can do it and then um, in about a week or so I'm going back to um, the doctor to hopefully get the drainage pumps out and that will be a lot more comfortable too anyway I hope you guys are doing so awesome out there and you're staying on your diets wherever you're at in your journey is an amazing part you know every step is amazing the first week was amazing for me. You know, the first time I got to run again was amazing. The first time I got to cross my legs again was amazing. Um, the first time I realized I had dropped a few dress sizes was amazing. My current sports bras are extra large. They don't um, like hold up as well anymore. See if they have a few larges that we can get. I don't know if they're gonna stay well. Let's see what the medium looks like. What, a medium? Don't forget to really live in those moments as you're crossing them. You know, and now this this moment now feels amazing, you know. So the whole thing is great. Um, and go ahead and start. If you haven't started, do it. You know, this find your motivation and just start and get excited about all those milestones that you get to have along the way. It was so good to see you guys. I'll see you soon with some more post-op updates and keto tips, motivation, all that jazz. See you soon.